Hi guys, Lorena Gerlock here with Real Estate Profit Coach on day 10 of our buying tour in San Diego. Spent another day um, basically in the room researching properties. Found about 20 different properties that we had gone through, researched, ended up making offers on seven of them through our two realtors that we're working with primarily. The Wells Fargo REO agent out in Oceanside and our local gal that Scott found on Craigslist. So great folks, we love <coughs> working with them. Sorry, got a cold. NyQuil, woohoo! Switching to DayQuil tomorrow. <laughs> But uh, seriously, we had a great day. Uh, students actually started jumping in, going through their own systems to find properties for us to evaluate. So it was great. By the end of the day, I mean, I had a list of properties that um, Nancy was sending me from a, um, something called crunching.com. I guess it's a service she gets out here in California. Um, had a couple other students going, doing their own thing, sending me stuff. Jackie kept sending me all these gorgeous million dollar properties, which is one had an elevator. Oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Happy to look at anything, uh, even, even we're still trolling the NOD list, seeing if we can find things from there. Spent a good chunk of the afternoon, though, working on a 24-unit apartment building that our real estate broker slash um, attorney had sent us um, through one of his agents in his office. Now, this is Gary that we met day one. So, again, network, network, network. We're on day 10. We met him day one. He's still sending us deals. So love him, love him, love him. Um, the 24 unit is actually owned free and clear. The owner's willing to do owner financing. We took, we spent some time going over the numbers. There was a couple of well snafus that they had put into the pro forma. Um, fixed those. It ended up being in our favor. So we definitely want to go have a look at this property. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it on Saturday tomorrow. Uh, what to? It, we want to validate some assumptions. We're assuming that the, the owner's daughter is actually living in one of the apartments, not and there's not an on-site manager, um, things like that, or an on-site office. I uh, wanted to check out to see what kind of parking situation is. Is there room for upsales like um, storage units? Uh, things like that, uh, vending machines, yada, yada, because their monthly is pretty low for um, auxiliary um, income. It's only $400 a month, and it's like, well, man, just the laundry alone ought to generate more than that in a building that size, so who knows? We'll go and validate some of that. Um, if we like what we see physically, then the next step is to get the docs. We need to see the physical rent rolls, the deposits, what the expenses are. We want documentation, not just a pro forma. So really excited about those opportunities. Anyway, oh, and we got uh, um, responses back on some of the offers we'd made earlier in the week. Uh, one we were told, hey, bye-bye. So it's like, oh, okay, that's going to happen. A couple others we were told we were in a multiple offer situation. Not surprising in this market. So it's like, okay, not a problem. Just keep us updated. We're going to keep rocking and rolling. We're in the, our last few days here, we're going to be implementing the process to keep this momentum going. We're not going to just stop buying and, and go to another market. We're going to continue buying in this market, which is going to be really awesome. Anyway, wrapping up day 10 in glorious San Diego. And uh, guys, it's been raining here the last couple of days, so <laughs> we're not sitting here on the beach in sunshine just, just yet. So, But it's still, it's still beautiful nonetheless. We will wrap things up now. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.